This is the cheapest car in the universe. I made it in my back shed, and I'm about to take it down the craziest ramp in GTA 5. And once we do this, we're gonna take down an even better car, and a better one, and a better one, until eventually, we're driving down the most expensive. And at the end of this, the top five vehicles to go the furthest are gonna compete against each other to become the best car in the episode. I got my hype man, Michael, up there. What's up, my guy? <laughs> and I got Lamar on the other side, cheering away. All right, Franklin, are we buckled up? I'm joking. There's no seatbelt in this. I couldn't add one in. <laughs> Hold on to something, Franklin, because this is about to get crazy. I am driving a cardboard box down the most insane ramp in the universe. I'm going so fast. Oh, my days. Wait, this cardboard box has got speed. I'm so glad I added a spoiler on the back. <laughs> For no money, we're actually picking up quite a bit of speed. Oh, my days. This is a terrible idea. Are we actually going to make it around? No way. Are you kidding me? I made it around the entire loop. What? Hang on a second. Are we seriously going to do this? No way. Guys, I just made the next jump. Imagine if I made the last jump. Let's just see. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my days. We actually flew off the ramp. And that's not a bad time. But let's see how the next one does. And speaking of which, I want to upgrade it to something which actually costs a bit of money. This ride costs $300. I even left the old note in the window from the previous seller who was actually getting rid of this car. It might look rusty, but as far as vehicles go, I reckon this will do pretty well. Chevrolets are known to have pretty good cars. So let's just jump inside Franklin and see how this does. A few of the windows are smashed. There's newspaper everywhere. It stinks inside here. But man, I am excited. There's even bottles in the dashboard. All right, here goes nothing, Franklin. Let's do this. The $300 vehicle. How is this gonna do down the ramp? This could be really close, you know. But I don't know if this will even make it around the loop. Uh, let's find out anyway. Let's do this. Come on, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh, yes. Easy peasy. So far, these cars are passing with flying colors. But over the jump. Oh, 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 so close. Close! <laughs> But here we go, the last jump. Are we gonna beat the box car? Here goes nothing. No way, no way, no way, dude. This one is last. The box car beat this. Wow, Franklin, the car we built in our own shed has actually done better than the car which costs money. We're getting into some serious money. These upgrades are happening quickly. And wait a second, is this what I think it is? It's a Volvo. No way. We had a Volvo. I love these cars. Guys, believe it or not, you can sit in the back of a Volvo. Some cars have seats in the boot. That's so crazy. Now, they're not really known for speed, so I, I really don't know how this is gonna do, but they're robust, they're durable, and I have a feeling we're gonna do well regardless. <laughs> yeah. Even if it turns into a submarine at the bottom of the ocean, we're gonna survive and the car's gonna be A-OK. -okay. So let's look at the inside. Wow, this is so classic. Oh my days. I've camped out the speedometer. We're going at 140 kilometers an hour. Feels kind of slow. Well, here comes the loop, the loop. Are we actually gonna do this? Come on, Volvo. Don't let me down. Let's do this. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, passed again with flying colors, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen. All right, Franklin, let's make the jump over the Alamo. Oh, yes. Nice. I'm not falling in the ocean. Not today, guys. Not today. Now it's time for the ultimate test. Can we beat the box car? Let's do this. Oh, my days. Yo, the Volvo, the Volvo is, is completely clearing them. It just went over the hill. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm not even kidding. This car might have actually made it into top five. It is so difficult to cross the hill on that ramp. How did the Volvo do that? Can the $10,000 car smash the Volvo out of the park? It's a Volkswagen, and these cars are so classic. They're not exactly known for the speed, though. I'm really not too sure how this is gonna do. And someone left their luggage on the roof. Well, it's not my problem if their hairbrushes fall out when we do the loop-the-loop. -loop. Yep, as I predicted, this is a very slow start. But I'm sure as we build up some speed on the ramp, we should get pretty fast. And here we go. Now we're picking up some decent speed. I've capped out this pedometer at 70 kilometers an hour. This is not meant to go fast. Oh, jeez. A little bit of a crash there. That might have set it back a little bit. There is no no way I'm making this jump. No way. Not in a million years. Oh, my days. The first sacrifice. I'm sorry, Volkswagen, but you gotta go. It floats. No way. <laughs> $100,000 will buy you this car. So let's take a look at this car. I want to find some clues about what it is. Apart from these flames at either side, I have a feeling this ride is going to go pretty fast. <laughs> it's a Ford. No way. Well, that explains why it looks really cool. Ford is great at making cars look pretty nice. I think this might be a Ford hot rod. I can't exactly see too much ahead of me with the giant engine out front and the tiny windscreen, but everything about this vehicle seems to have been made for speed. They've even gutted the inside, so there's only one seat, and it's not 
nothing in the back. Here goes nothing. Let's take the loop, the loop. Oh, easy, easy now. Easy, don't crash this. Yes. <laughs> we jump straight across. And let's do the C. Oh, easy again. This one might actually be the Volvo, guys. We're going pretty fast. But there's only one way to find out. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Off the ramp. Can we jump over the hill? We're jumping over the hill. Oh, my days. <laughs> We're going to smash the Volvo out of the park. Straight over the train tracks. What? $100,000 can get you a nice piece of kit. <laughs> and considering Ford made this just for speed, I'm impressed. It's lived up to its dream. How does this cost half a million dollars? It's a monster truck and it's not even a supercar. Let me take a look around the back. All I saw is a B, but it looks like it's a Mercedes. A Mercedes trying to be a Bentley, huh? Well, I have heard good things about these cars and they don't exactly come cheap. And someone has decided to monsterfy it. <laughs> Which I'm not complaining about. That was the quickest acceleration I've seen out of all of the cars so far. We're still getting fast. Faster and faster and faster. There's the desert. The loop should be coming up pretty soon. There it is. Are you ready, Franklin? Let's do this. Easy. Nice. Nice. The suspension is really being put to the test, but we still made it down. Oh my days. This could be it, guys. This could be the one. Are we going to smash the other two out of the park? All right, I made the jump over the Alamo. That was a smooth landing. The acceleration and the suspension on this is over the top. But speaking of which, can we go over the top of this hill? Oh man, I really thought we were going to do that. The suspension was so crazy. Oh, that's so annoying. Annoying. I thought we were gonna do that. This is the first million dollar car. How are we here already? It looks like a police car. No way do police own these. This is literally an upgraded police car. Have you seen what they've done to the engine? That's turbocharged. Whoa. Hey, I am so excited to drive this one down. <laughs> There's even a chain around the number plate, which says low sandals at the bottom. There's lights at the bottom above both of those exhaust pipes. There's quad exhaust at both sides. Even the bumper lights at the back also flash. Everything about this just tells me it's a police car. And here comes the loop the loop. Are you ready to see how it does? Let's find out. This is the fastest time I've ever made it down the ramp. I'm pretty confident about that. No way. That was so quick. With ease. And then across this. Oh my days. This is going to be so smooth if we actually make this. No, 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 no. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Come on. This is the nicest car I've seen so far. Don't lose to the. Oh, hang on a second. I'm still going. Made it over the hill. All right. I'll take it, guys. We rolled over the hill. <laughs> Poor Mercedes. I don't think is gonna make it, but as far as this car goes, I'm pretty happy with this result. Third place, and it's gonna be difficult to beat this. Two million dollars. Twice the price as the last one. Why does it cost so much? Well, let me tell you guys. It is an Audi electric prototype car. There is only one of these cars on the streets. You can't buy this, and you won't be able to for a long, long time. And for two million dollars, I think that's kind of a bargain for what you're about to get. Electric cars are also known to be pretty fast, and this might be the first electric car we've driven down so far. I can't even hear the engine that much because it's electric. That's what I love about these kind of cars. They're not too loud and they're super duper smooth. And here comes the loop. The loop. We're not going too fast, but we're going pretty fast anyway. Take it easy. Take it easy. Franklin, take it easy. Nice. And then over the Alamo. Now take this one easy. We don't want to go too fast. That was a perfect run. That was amazing. All right. Use some ability. Let's do this. And then a little bit more ability, Franklin. And then three, two, one. Let go. Let's do this. No way. This might make it into first place. <laughs> There goes the police car. There goes the Volvo. And there's the hot rod smashed into first place. Oh, my days. I knew you could do it. Well, it looks like we've almost got our top five. There's only a few cars left. And the most expensive one is worth way more money than this. It's going to be nearly impossible to beat this. But there's still a chance. A chance which $5 million is going to try and beat. That's right. This ride costs $5 million. It's a Bentley. And it might not look like anything special. But believe me, Bentley are known to have the best engines out of every single car in the marketplace. It's a little bit slower than the others. You know, it has got a traditional engine, but it is not slowing down anytime soon. We should do this one with ease. Oh yeah, with ease we do straight across. Nice one, Franklin. Oh, that was a bit of a slip up, but I think we're going to be okay. Perfect. Yeah, that slip up barely even counted. And then use some ability and then use it one more time. And three, two, one, let go. All right, this is it. It's now or never. It's now or never. Can we do this? Straight over the Mercedes monster truck. I think we might beat the Volvo. No way. Are we going to beat the Volvo? There's the Volvo over there. We just about beat the Volvo, and now this has taken third place. Wait, hang on a second. No, it's like joint second. This is one of the nicest looking cars I've ever seen. And for $10 million, it's making my heart ache a little bit. <laughs> Mercedes Vision EQS. I hope the E stands for electric, because if it does, then this might just smash first place. There is not a single car which has failed on that task, which I'm really happy about. Even the $0 car still made around the loop. But now it's time to see how it performs on this bit. I just use the ability. 
ability and then let go one more time. Are we going to jump over the hill? Oh, you can tell. We're flying over the hill. Yo, this might do just as well as the Bentley from before. Don't hit the bush. It smashed the Bentley and it smashed the Audi. <laughs> straight into first place and the barrier had to stop me i'm not even kidding this is the best car i've ever driven down that ramp and i've driven a lot of cars down there and for 25 million dollars it's gonna knock more cars out let's be honest this is bugatti la voice noir 10 of these were made in the entire production and rumor has it one of them was sold to cristiano ronaldo but since there's 10 of these the price of this car is exactly what you're getting 25 million dollars a pure engine whoa six different exhaust Pipes. I mean, on the average car, you just get one. If I were any of those cars down there, I would be terrified. Here comes the Bugatti LA Voyager Noir. Those exhaust pipes are looking fierce. <laughs> yeah. Look at them, dude. Six blows of straight fire. The engine sounding even more fierce, but here comes the loop the loop. Easy, easy, easy. Straight around. All right, nice. Make the jump. Okay, that was a little bit too over the top. Oh, my days, dude. We're going too fast. We're going too fast. Please make it over the hill. Oh, my days, guys. I screwed it up. You know what happens with these kind of vehicles is when you go a little bit too fast, you don't make the jump as optimal as possible. And you end up doing something like this. Speaking of last place, if this $50 million car gets last place, I'm gonna be so disappointed. For $50 million, this car is made entirely out of meteorite stone. And rumor has it, some of these can even fly. The design on this is out of this world. It literally looks like it's been made by aliens, but it hasn't. It's been made by Lamborghini in their top secret car design warehouse. It made it round the loop, that's for sure. Are we gonna smash top five? There's only one way to find out. Let's do some rolling. Nice. I'm going to try everything I can. Everything in the book to make sure this gets top five. Nice. Use some more boost. Over the jump we go. We're jumping over the hill. Nice. This might just about beat the Volvo. It doesn't look like it. Oh, my days. Dude, the Volvo beat this? <laughs> I gave it everything it got as well. For the $100 million car. This is the most expensive one in the GTA 5 universe. It's only got one shot at making it into the top five. If it doesn't make it in there, then the most expensive will officially be knocked out. No pressure, Franklin. And I love that door. That's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, can we close the doors now, Franklin? Oh, boy. I can't believe I'm doing this, dude. This is crazy. There's not even a steering wheel in this thing. I have just told the car to go on auto drive at maximum speed. We're going pretty fast. This is kind of scary to be in a glass box almost and to go at this kind of speed. If we crash, then we're dead. What? This is going kind of slow. Hang on a second. Is the most expensive car going to make it into the top five? I don't know, guys. And of all the rides we've driven. This one has just messed it up. No! Are we gonna cross the Lambo? Come on, at least cross the Lambo C. This is gonna be seriously close. Oh my days, this is painful, guys. I don't think it's gonna make it. I'm gonna try everything I can, but this is gonna be really, really close. And full on, pedal to the metal, Franklin. No, no, no! <laughs> The most expensive didn't make it into the top five. That is so disappointing. It landed just where the LA Voyage Noir did. The best vehicle was the Mercedes EQS, followed by the Audi. Tied behind as runner-up, we got the Bentley and the Ford Hot Rod. And just behind these two, somehow the Volvo came in clutch. I don't understand how it did, but it did. This is the world's biggest ramp. And behind me are the top five vehicles out of every single one I upgraded. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. All right, nice. This thing is a reliable car. I can trust the vehicle. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see how we do. It's done 176,000 miles, and it's still smashing records, guys. Speaking of records, this is a pretty record speed. I've capped out the speedometer. Here's the bottom of the ramp, and it's a bit bumpy, but I still flew over the end. <laughs> no way. Are we seriously gonna get a record time? Dude, check this out. I just landed at the petrol station. That was pretty far away. Now it's time for the Bentley. Now, this car costs a lot of money. You know, you guys saw the price. Now, how is it gonna do when it competes against the other ones purely for speed and power. Well, the power has definitely got that. We just flew over the ramp. All right, don't flip this thing. Now, annoyingly, the spoiler comes up, which I think actually stops it from getting as fast as it possibly can do, just to add a bit more speed on this. And although it hasn't got the most aerodynamic look, it's got neon lights underneath, which gets approval from me. Are we at the bottom already? No way! I made it to the bottom in record time. I think the Volvo still beat the Bentley. Oh my days. She is the luckiest woman in the world. Wait a second. If the Bentley landed there, the Volvo landed over 
and then this kind of car was made for speed it was built for it and it's almost 100 years old how did it make it into the third place position i do not know no way dude this is just smash the bentley it smashed the volvo this car is 92 years old twice as far as the bentley how on earth did you do that they knew what they were doing ford back in the day seriously knew their cars here comes the end of the ramp don't screw this up franklin can we beat the hot rods i don't think we're going to this is already lower than the other ones no way this is going to come in last place last place you've just done the electric community a great dishonor but don't worry the mercedes is up next which is technically the best car out of all of them this is the last opportunity to beat the volvo <laughs> wait a second hang on a minute if this doesn't beat the volvo then two of the cheapest cars officially were the fastest and the best out of the whole episode and here goes nothing i'm halfway down the ramp i'm still gaining speed come on we need to gain even more even more do it for the electric cars come on do it for the expensive rides if this doesn't beat the volvo then cars under a hundred thousand dollars will have officially won oh this is gonna be seriously close we're gonna land just ahead of the volvo <laughs> Way in second place. But there we have it. The ultimate car was the $100,000 Ford Hot Rod we saw at the very start. There's the Volvo in third place. That's the electric car in second. And the other one landed right over there. My favorite car was hands down the Volvo. Which one was yours? Let me know in the comments. Smash like if you enjoyed. Now let's get to 6 million subscribers by Christmas. I think we can do it. But until next time, thanks for watching. My name is Nord and stay awesome.